Across West Baltimore, more and more. Okay. You'll find people like Gary Mullen beautifying the cityscape. Instead of having plain basic walls and nothing on it, art helps, art helps to bring it alive. That's a good thing. This is one of 10 murals across Sandtown, Winchester, being painted in one month. Some positive stuff is getting ready to go on around here. People trying to make a change in the neighborhood. This one finished this weekend at Whitelock Street. A solidarity, you know? Yeah, solidarity. Three kids depicted locking arms. Dedicated to Amani, Amante, Tarazi, and all the city youth. The Sandtown Mural Project features 10 artists with their spins on what the community tells them about the struggles of West Baltimore. We have the artistic hand, I guess, but uh, with the community ears. It's been a drastic change in this community. I mean, I've, I've lived in this community for, for years, and, and there hasn't, you know, been that much of an artist presence here. Art makes a difference. It, you know, it brings out the, um, a good spirit in you. You know, it makes you know that you see positive people right here on the wall want to make a change to our community. All of the art is in the neighborhood where Freddie Gray lived, where he was arrested, and where people protested in his name. You have the past, uh, the present, and the future. And they did one right here at, um, at the Penn North um, subway station. I'm not offering mural painting as the end-all be-all. But uh, there is something to be said about images and imagery. It goes beyond the art. It just goes beyond eye candy. And these works of art can actually do something. And hopefully, you know, art can't do everything. But one thing it can definitely do is catalyze different behavior and change. Several murals are already complete. Many have yet to be conceptualized. It's a beautiful thing to see, to see how Baltimore stands together and how the artist community has really come out to, to support that, that effort. Come take pictures of them. Do like, congratulate them guys for the work that they do. Because it's not easy to do them paintings like they do. The artistic movement is alive in one of Baltimore's toughest neighborhoods. I can say it's really uplifting and very colorful. <laughs> in West Baltimore. Hopefully bring some change, but definitely bring awareness. Paul Gaster, Fox 45 News.